Tonight is the perfect opportunity to take Jason out before he takes me out. Maybe. Hey, you need an attitude adjustment, little Claudia, brother. Claudia, you're not the one who's going to be out in the woods with Jason Morgan, all well, right? That's what makes it perfect. I mean, you're out there on Sonny's orders in the first place. Everybody's already expecting trouble. My guy's going to take Jason out. And the Zakar troublemakers will get blamed for it. Okay, you know what? All you, you know have what? to do is stay out of the way. Claudia, this sounds a little too familiar to me. There are a million ways this could go wrong. You ever thought of that? You don't think things through, Claudia. You panic, and then you pick up the phone, and you start giving orders, and everything blows up in your face. People get hurt. Kids get hurt. You know what? I don't need you to remind me of that. Then think about what you're asking me to do here. I have. Okay, Claudia. So Jason and I are walking through the Sherwood Forest looking for these Zakara lieutenants. And we're supposed to take all of them out, right? Because that's what Sonny ordered us to do. Mm -hmm. But Jason Morgan, who is the best guy in the business, ends up getting shot and killed. And I walk away unscathed. How am I supposed to explain that to Sonny? They didn't kill you because you're a Zakara? Uh, I don't know. Brain right. surgery, right? But they killed Jason Morgan. Come on, Claudia. Sonny is going to think that I'm in on this rebellion. He's already suspicious of me. He's never sent me out on a job like this. And I don't blame him for being suspicious. Look, Uncle Rudy set it up. It, it, everything is going to be fine. Uncle Rudy. Guy's practically retired. He knows the lieutenants that are trying to break off. And it's going to be okay, Okay, one John. of these lieutenants is going to be the shooter? It's not perfect, okay? I know that. This is the best I can do, and I'm trying to make it as easy on you as possible. I know you want to believe that, Claudia. Hey, you're my little brother, Johnny. I am not going to let anything happen to you. We're in this, and we're in it together, okay? Always. Hey, am I interrupting? We're busy. Yeah, I see that. So get your skanky ass out. Claudia? Right, we are not having this fight again. Bye. Claudia, I'll think about what you said. I'm sorry, you're ditching me for her. We were done. You get that she's only here to make Sonny jealous, right? Claudia, your brother's a grown man. He can sleep with whoever he wants. Oh, you need to shut it, slot. Really? <sighs> Why don't you go home to Sonny, Claudia? I'm sure he's dying to spend some quality time with you. You're trying to make Sonny jealous, aren't you? That's what that little fantasy you have is all about. You still carry a torch for him no matter how used up you are. Claudia. It's really sad. One more word out of your mouth and you will not have my cooperation. Goodbye. your fault. Your sister's a whack job. Yeah. She's just trying to be helpful, but sometimes she can just go a little too far. Yeah. Let's forget about her. Okay. All I need you to do is say yes to something. To what? Dinner at my place. Tonight, I want to say thanks for fixing my car. Um, how about tomorrow night? Oh, you got a hot date already? Who's a lucky lady? <laughs> I'm on a special assignment for Sunny tonight. I just want to make sure we're clear on tonight. Yeah. Eddie Denon and his people are making trouble. They were always making trouble for my father, just so you know. Anyway, they've been thinking of breaking free of the Corinthos organization and starting up their own thing. They shorted a couple of shipments and stolen one. Sonny wants us to make them an example. Send a message. And if they give us any trouble, which they probably will, we're just going to take them all out. All of them. That's right. Now, I know some of the guys work for your father, and, and I know that you know some of these guys, so if you don't want to get your hands dirty, you need to tell me right now. That's what we're about to do. You think it's going to make a difference? Take all these guys out? You think it's actually going to change something? I don't know some stuff that, but there's going to be retaliation in some form or another. And as you know, violence always causes more violence. I thought you were good to do this. I mean, if you know, it's no problem. I can, I can do it. No. Come okay. Then you need to stop thinking about this kind of stuff. It doesn't help. You know, when I set myself up in this garage, I thought I wanted to get out. I thought I could change. This world, this business, it's all I know. You ever wanted to get out? No. You never wanted to just walk away. I tried. Didn't work. See, my 
job is to make people disappear. Someday somebody's gonna make me disappear. That's just how it works. I don't tear myself up about it, especially right before I go out on a job. So that's it, huh? No regrets, no second thoughts? No. Except I, I never want an innocent person to get caught in the crossfire again. I will avoid it at all costs. Outside of that, it's got to be business. Closer to the road. I'm working out of a roadhouse. A quarter mile up. We're gonna keep an eye on things. If there's a problem, that's when we take care of it. We couldn't keep an eye on things from the parking lot. No, because you want you want to go back to the car? No, I'm just saying. Why we gotta prance through the enchanted forest here? We could have just driven straight up to the place. You know, they, they would see us, Johnny. You got a flashlight? A flashlight? They would see a flashlight. I'm just saying, in case something goes wrong and anything can go wrong, you know that. Hey, what do you know about bears? If I go first, will you stop talking? No, I'm good. But how far is a quarter mile anyway? Is this what it feels like to go camping? Jason? I need to know which way the car is in case I need to get back. South. Right now we're heading north. South as in a straight line. Johnny, you gotta, you gotta stop talking. I'm just saying, how do you know north from south in the dark? You know where the stars are going. 